Welcome back. We are here this morning with Michael Sullivan, the executive director for the American Red Cross for the SEMO and Northeast Arkansas area. And so let's talk a little bit about why you are here today. We obviously had those storms a few weeks back that affected parts of the heartland. Yeah. And you guys are holding with other different agencies, you're holding a one stop shop for the folks that were impacted. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, first off, just I want to say thank you for having me this morning. Of course. And um, my heart goes out to those that were impacted. And so mm -hmm. as we continue down this road to recovery, um, agencies like local and state government, uh, faith-based faith -based organizations that are, provide disaster relief and nonprofit organizations are providing this one-stop shop for uh, those impacted to come and learn and get information on how to receive help uh, based on their needs. Mm -hmm. And so at this one-stop shop, what can people really expect to receive? Yeah, so when they first get there, they'll be greeted by a volunteer. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll go through an intake process, and then they'll have the opportunity to meet with the different organizations and learn about the resources that are available for them uh, based on their needs and what they qualify for. And so what do you need to bring in order to yeah. show up at this one-stop shop? So I encourage you to bring a proof of address, mm -hmm. a valid ID, and be patient. There'll be other people there as well talking to agencies, and we want to make sure that we provide the same amount of attention to everyone that comes to those doors. Mm -hmm. And so you may have to wait a little bit, but be, work with us and we'll get you through the door. Right, and I know that you guys had this taking place yesterday, and then you have one mm -hmm. today in Sykeston, but you also have other areas in Southeast Missouri yeah. that will have a one-stop shop. Talk a little bit about the other areas as well. Definitely, so yeah, to, uh, today we'll be there from 10 to 6 at the YMCA in Sykeston. Um, yesterday we had nearly 200 people come through the wow. doors um, receiving assistance and getting that information and resources. Mm -hmm. um, tomorrow, or yeah, tomorrow will be in Dexter and then Wednesday will be in Donovan, Missouri. And so then people can just show up. They don't need to make an appointment or anything like that. They can show up, just bring mm -hmm. that proof of address and then they can get those, that assistance that they need. That's correct. And so if you're impacted by the storms, whether that's damage to your home, mm -hmm. um, extended power outages, whatever that may be, if you were impacted, show up to the mark and receive those one, uh, the, all those assistance in one uh, place. And so why is this so important for you guys to be a part of this mm -hmm. and to hold this for the community? Yeah, so we're all in this together. And so mm -hmm. we wanna make sure that we show up for our community um, and provide them the resources, information that they need to know as they work through this road to recovery. Mm -hmm. And you know, for some people who maybe can't make it to the specific set time, 10 yeah. to six, is there a way that they can still get help? Is there a number that they can reach out to? What does that look like for those folks? Yeah, so for the American Red Cross, they can always call 1-800-RED-CROSS mm -hmm. uh, to start that process with us. For the other agencies, they would need to reach out to them directly. Okay, and so then for the people who also are impacted by the storms and people who maybe aren't impacted mm -hmm. by the storms, but they want to help volunteer, are there volunteer opportunities for cleanup and things of that nature that you know of still that is needed? Yeah, so for the Red Cross, mm -hmm. uh, we always need volunteers, right? And especially before storms happen, so to make sure that we are prepared and that we have the volunteers trained and ready to go mm -hmm. uh, for deployment um, for other organizations as well uh, they also may have a need so I'd encourage them to reach out to those organizations yeah and so then where can people find out more information about the one-stop shop that's taking place or just any information in general yeah so we've been trying to promote that as much to the public we mm -hmm. want everyone who's been impacted to learn about this yeah and so we've been working with the local governments to get it pushed out um, we've had it on our Facebook and social media sites as well and mm -hmm. I'm sure the other nonprofits and the other organizations involved have it posted too wonderful and so the one in Sykeston that's taking place today, Dexter's tomorrow, mm -hmm. and then Donovan on Wednesday. That's correct. And yes. so then from 10 to 6, you can show up at any time and get the help that you need. That's correct. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining yeah. us this morning. And if you were impacted by those storms, do not hesitate to go to this one-stop shop and just get any help that you need. It sounds like that you will be able to find that help at this one-stop shop. Thank you again. We'll be back in just a bit.